Hello guys, it's Mashtech here. Today I want to show you how to play Devolution X, a Diablo 1 port, on your RG351P. I tried to make it as simple as possible and prepared a script that you can easily add to your device to start it right out of emulation station. So if you'd like to come back with me to the good old days where we slay the monsters out of these dungeons, grab your RG351 and let's go through the steps together. Hey Diablo, wanna play some Diablo? Hmm, don't have time to play with myself. Okay, then we're gonna play with you. Okay, before we start, let me say a few words. This guide is made for the original firmware of your RT351P and doesn't work so far with any custom firmware like ArcOS or 351 Alec. You'll need the game file of Diablo 1, either from your CD or get it from good old games, GOG.com, for a few bucks. In case you lost your original CD or your CD is so scratched that your drive can't read it anymore, some real nice guys backed it up for you at archive.org. So you can alternatively go there and download it from the page either directly or by torrent. I'll also put you a link to this source into the video description. It's legal to use as long as you own the original game. Beside that, you need a Wi-Fi connection to your device. Otherwise, you can access the necessary folders. I have a guide that shows you all the required steps to establish a Wi-Fi connection. So if you haven't done that yet, you can check it out here. Okay, with all that being said, let's start. Check out the video description and download the necessary files from my Google Drive. The Devolution X application, the Diablo game list file and the runner script I created for you so you can start it right out of emulation station. To download these files you can simply click on the download all button up here so all files will be downloaded as a zip package for you. Switch over to your download folder, extract the content of the package jump into the Devolution X folder and move all the files to your desktop. Now that everything is prepared, let's copy the files over to the right folders. Therefore, I use WinSCP and make a connection to my RG351. Navigate over to a folder called emualec and enter its subfolder ports. Drag and drop the Diablo script right in here. Right click on the file, choose properties from the list and give it executable rights so it will run out of emulation station. To show the Diablo 1 icon in the ports list, we also need to drop the Diablo underscore game list file into this folder. After this, navigate over to the storage.config folder and open the custom underscore start script. Here we need to find a line called any commands that you want to run after the front end has started goes here comment line and add the following line right under it. Don't forget to save it. I'll add this line to the video description so you can just copy and paste it in here. Next we need to switch over to the emuelec slash bin folder and check if the Devolution X application is already present. In most versions this port already comes pre-installed. If Devolution X is not present here, simply drag and drop the version I share with you to that folder. Now it's time to switch over to our RG351 and make sure that it allows to show ported games. Therefore, press the start button and open the main menu and choose UI settings from the list. Enter the systems displayed entry and scroll all the way down until you find the ports entry. Here we want to make sure that the check mark is set. Hit the B button until you're back in the main menu and open the game settings. Here we need to select the first entry to update. Confirm the update dialog so that the entries in your system sections get refreshed. Let's go and check if our entries will show up now. And there it is. 
Now it's time to start Devolution X to check if we did everything right. If you see this weird dialog on the screen, everything went fine. Just hit the A button to close the dialog and jump back to Emulation Station. Now with this initial step, Devolution X created its necessary folders so we can come over to the final step and copy the game data to our RG351. So let's open WinSCP again and navigate over to a folder called storage.local.share.da.surgical.devolution. We need to drag and drop the dapdat.mpq file from our CD to this folder. Since this is a large file, it will take some time until the copy process is done, so I will fast forward this for you guys. Now that the file is copied over, we need to do one last important step and rename it all to small letters. Now everything is done and we can start playing Diablo 1 on our RG351. Before we dive into deeper gameplay, let me explain the button mapping to you. With the D-pad you can move your character over the map. The left analog stick also moves your character, but for some strange reasons it does it in reverse directions. Since I was just using the D-pad, it didn't bother me too much. The L1 shoulder button lets you drink the next health potion, while the R1 shoulder button makes the character drink the next mana potion. L2 opens your character settings in case you want to check your properties or set your character upgrade points. R2 opens your inventory and allows you to set new armors or weapons to your character. A press on the left analog stick opens and closes the minimap. The A button lets you select a skill while a press on the X button will cast that spell. Pressing the B button will make your character attack the nearest enemy around you. With the Y button you can pick up nearby loot, open doors, chests or barrels in the game. Pressing start and the D-pad buttons or right analog stick at the same time lets you move the mouse cursor. Pressing select and start opens the main menu where you can save, load or exit the game. While you're in the main menu, the B button is used to confirm a selection, while the A button always brings you one step back in the menu. Now let's jump back to the game, so you can get an impression of the gameplay. Pressing select and start at the same time opens up the main menu and allows you to save your game at any time. So you can close Diablo and come back anytime later to continue your game. Simply start another single player game, select your character and choose load game from the menu. This will bring you back to the place where you saved your game last time. That's it for today, Diablo 1 is actually my most favorite game, so I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for watching, leave me a like if you enjoyed the video and if you like to see more of my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Happy gaming and have a good time.